Hi there, welcome to my video on how to create image hotspots in H5P. If you're new to H5P, I, I really enjoy using and have been enjoying using H5P for the last few years. Um, one of the three reasons why I really like and uh, think it's really accessible is that one, it's open source. Um, open source is really cool because it allows you, me, and anyone else who um, has an interest, has ideas, and has the skills to contribute to this tool to make changes. Um, all the source code is available online at GitHub, and you can be part of a really great community. And so that's really neat because in e-learning, there's not a lot of software that is open source. And so um, this is a great way to be part of the change that you want to see. Uh, the second reason why I like H5P is that it's very easy to use. Um, while uh, there are many people who like Adobe Captivate and Articulate Storyline, I find that H5P is just really easy in some terms of setting up. There is no complicated or long or uh, messy downloads or worrying about how much space it takes on your computer. It's all web-based um, and it's all done through their website, h5p.com. And then all you have to do is uh, pay for your account and then you can start creating content. And then the third reason why I like H5P is that it's very accessible and easy to use for anyone who is new to creating e-learning content, uh, especially if you're new to creating uh, e-learning interactive content. While most people like to, uh, you know, use PowerPoint and videos and audios, I think uh, the choices in H5P make it really awesome to take your course to the next level. So with that said, let's get started. In this example, I am uh, giving this uh, course, this demo course of how to do figure drawing. Uh, most of the time, figure drawing classes have been available in person. Uh, you show up to the library and sit outside together and bring your sketch pads and start learning how to draw. Now, in a world where there are more options to take classes uh, digitally as well, you can offer the experience similarly online. So if this is uh, a lesson on figure drawing and I'm making this a self-paced course, uh, I wanna sort of cover the fundamentals of how to begin uh, your figure drawing. So um, I've given uh, this lesson a title, which is beginner figure drawing. Let me add lesson. And then I wanna use an image uh, for this hotspot uh, lesson. So I've taken this one as an example, but if I don't like it, I can click X. And then they ask if I'm, want to remove this file and I can say confirm and then add a different image. But let's just go back and add this uh, vase again. So now uh, the other uh, thing they're going to ask me is alternative text for this background image. If you're not familiar with alt text, the idea is that in online learning not everyone can um, see. Some people may have visual impairments and will need the assistance of a screen reader. So a screen reader will definitely help in this case when you have the alt text so that when the screen is on this particular image, it will read what it is to the learner because they cannot see. So if you don't have uh, the alt text in place, it makes it very, very difficult for a student to uh, proceed with this specific lesson. So I'm just going to give this a very simple uh, alt text, which says picture of base. Now, <clears throat> they're gonna ask me, do I wanna use the predefined icon uh, for the hotspot or do I want to pick from the choices uh, of my using my own image? I'm gonna just stick with the default uh, because that's just easy. Uh, later on, if you wanna customize, you can. It really just is up to you. And then they're gonna ask me if I want to, which icon that I wanna use for this hotspot to define it. So like, how do I know that that is a particular hotspot in the image? So they're giving me a choice of a plus, minus, times, check, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just gonna stick with plus because I like plus. And then I can choose the color of my hotspot. So I want to sort of uh, pick a color that will be kind of uh, fun, but matches and kind of stands out. And it's easy for me to see that, and also easy for the student to see that that is a hotspot on the image. 
So now I can start building this hotspot. <clears throat> so uh, this first one, I've just given this uh, header and called it point one. So this will be the first point of my hotspot. And then now they're going to ask me what do I want to put in the text here for this hotspot? So in this, I'm going to uh, teach my students the fundamentals of figure drawing before they even start actually drawing, um, because I think the fundamentals are really important. And so I'll just say like which part of the base, um, uh, I can just say which part of the base figure is this? And then uh, every time my student will click on this, that's what they will see is which part of the figure is this. And I'll show you this at the end when we finish. And then I'll go ahead and build the second uh, hotspot. <clears throat> and so I've given this a title, point two. So that's why you said, you see here, it's called point two. And so this would be the second uh, point in my hotspot. Then I want to give this a text. And so I'll use the same text again. But if I want to mix it up, I can add a video and click confirm and then uh, give this a demo video and then uh, add a video from my own computer. Um, but I would be uh, careful to adding video because you want to think about like, uh, not everyone has really fast internet speed. So video can be very taxing on many computers and browsers. So uh, be mindful about using video. So we can also go back to using an image and then if you change your mind, you can give this image text and say a uh, new image of the race. And <clears throat> we can add the image and pick one from my hard drive. Uh, but I want to sort of be consistent and uh, just stick with the text. Uh, so I'm going to remove that and then go back to um, adding the uh, text. And uh, you can see which aspect of the base. Oops. So now I would just make sure I do the same thing and add the text here. Uh, which part of the base is this? The idea is that each hotspot, when a student clicks on it, uh, will pop up a text. And so you want to be really thoughtful and intentional about creating and writing the text that really matches what you want students to uh, learn. Now I've done that one and then I've done the same one. And then for my last one, I can sort of uh, change and say, um, why is this part of the base significant to your drawing fundamentals? So I can mix it up a little bit. And then let's just keep this the same for the last point of our hotspot. So the cool thing is I can change this and move it here or I can move it here but I want to just keep it um, at a point where it's easy and visible for the students and for the learners. And then once that's done, uh, make sure everything looks good. I will click save. And so uh, now that this is saved, you'll see that those are the hotspots one, uh, two, three, four, and five. So if I click on it, it will uh, point and pop up the different text that I had. Now, if you're wondering now, how do you uh, put this in an LMS? Uh, there's a couple of things to note. Uh, it's uh, the publish will sort of <clears throat> give you a couple of options. You can either make it public so that when you're building this, you can show other people and then also embed it into your LMS. Uh, protected means it, it's going to be only in your LMS and this will not show up in the H5P database. And then unpublished is basically it's in draft mode. So then what I want to do. So what I want to do is uh, take this entire link here, copy it, <clears throat> and then uh, go to my lesson. Let me just discard this. I'm going to create a multimedia lesson, call it demo four. And then when I paste this link here, I'm going to have to be super careful and then I pick, I remove all the end links and pick the specific link that is in the front. So I'm just going to delete all this and I only need up to the embed. And then I'm going to delete this 
and then now I can click save. So now you see it's working again. So cool. So now that I've saved this, I want to preview so you can see how it looks as a student uh, in this course. So now I want to specifically look for demo four. And you can see the hotspots uh, show up 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0.1. So uh, that concludes the tutorial on how to create image hotspots. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a comment. Uh, subscribe, like, and let me know uh, what other questions you have about creating um, interactive e-learning content for your course. Thanks again for watching.